what is your, when you say I get people to like me, there's some intentionality behind that. Mm -hmm. So give us a look under the hood. Is there anything that you do to help evoke that kind of a feeling from that individual? What do you do to get them to like you? Is you ever go to dinner with somebody? Most people, Tim, they don't even listen to what you're saying. Do you know that? They don't. Like you could go out with a group and all they want to talk about is themselves and their jobs and their problems and their kids and, and all this is most people don't give a shit about you. And um, so I just listen to what they have to say. And um, and sometimes I'm not a great listener. A friend of mine once told me, you know, God gave you two ears and one mouth. You got to listen twice as much as you talk. But I kind of play into kind of what interests them, not interests me. And then when I sometimes I'll try to find a commonality, I'll try to remember it. You know, how's your kid doing? How are they doing in baseball? Did your kid go to Michigan? You want to talk about non-mortgage related things, but things that they want to talk about, not that we you want to talk. They don't give a crap about us. Most people in life don't care about you. They only care about themselves. So if all they care about themselves, well, let them talk about themselves and talk about themselves with you. So that's what I just feel is human nature is like everybody listening. Next time you go out to dinner, you know what I'm talking about with other couples is you could tell them about your family, your kids at work. They don't even hear what you're saying. I mean, <laughs> the, I'm sitting here listening about how every single word of what you said is so profoundly accurate and important and thinking to myself, wow, this is a real testament to how big people's egos are because they're always thinking about their narrative of what they want to talk about. And <clears throat> this, this kind of is a testament to the fact that some of this is like personal development work, which is to say, you know what? I know that I want to look good and say all the right things and have people know what's going on with me in my life. So, you know, it feels good that the attention's on me, but that's just all bullshit right. that isn't allowing me to really connect with somebody. So getting to know them and hear what they have to say and making them feel seen. And then is there something on top of that relating to, um, like, are you trying to influence them in any other way? Like, or here's the question I want to ask. Aren't you always also looking for and thinking about something that you can do for them or how you can help them? Um, yeah, I mean, that's part of um, my networking that I've always tried to put people together. I mean, I couple but of, talk, talk to us about that. Cause I think this is super powerful. Sure. So um, last week, a friend called me and said, do you know, so-and-so this friend was in ours out West and somebody on the East coast. And I don't know how they knew I knew them, but they're like, could you call him to see if he's interested in selling his mortgage company? Because I kind of heard a rumor he is. So I called this person who knew me and I said, I'm just calling this just, if there's no interest, whatever, if you'd like, I'd be more than happy to put you in touch with this person. I gave a little background and I went and placed a call. Now, to me, that's a law of reciprocity is one day somebody called me for a favor. I don't want to monetize. I don't want a broker fee agreement. I don't want anything. It's just, I put two people together. That's an example on an M&A deal. Mm -hmm. A lot of times clients will call me for a mortgage product that I don't offer. And I'm not going to sell them something I don't have. And I'll be like, here's the deal. I'm not great at this, or I don't offer that. Here's a person at this bank that could probably help you out. By me telling them to go there, it comes back to being spades. So what I try to do is when I even talk to a borrower, I put their interest in front of mine. I'm not self-serving. Because if you look at longevity in this business, you have to play the long game. You can't go for the immediate sale because if you always go for the kill, it's not always in the client's best interest. Mm 